Hey guys, before we begin, I just wanted to let you all know and remind you that on June 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash Asmongold, my main channel, we are going to be doing the OTK Games Expo. And so again, that's going to be on June 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So we hope to see you all there and uh, hope you enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Steak and Eggs podcast. This week, it's me with Techie. Uh, Asmund's taking a little break this week, but we have a special guest, an old friend who is uh, not here yet, wanted to do a, a special entrance any any time now <laughs> will come out. He can do whenever he's ready. <laughs> whenever he feels like it, I guess. <laughs> oh, frick. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone! Hey! <laughs> I don't even think they can see you, man. <laughs> they definitely can't. That's the worst part. <laughs> you got it. Okay, hold up. One more time. Here we go. From yep. the top. From the top, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Slot is here this week. Yeah. Oh my. God. Oh fuck. He's breaking the set. That's uh, Asmund's sword. It's cool. It's real. So be. <laughs> yeah. All yours, man. <laughs> it's it's real. So be careful if you take out the blade. It's double sided as well. I don't think he gives a fuck. Okay. Well. Oh. I I can't even. Uh, oh. All right. Hey. Well, he left. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Jay Schlatt, everybody. Schlatt, let me tell you why you want to sit down in that chair. I have a great <laughs> present for you, buddy. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Dude, welcome, man. It's a pleasure hey, to have you. Thanks for having me. I'm, uh... I, you know what? I have a gift for you, too. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh, shit. How you give sweet. me yours first, and then... Okay. So I heard a couple days ago that you were down to come on the podcast, which I've been yep. waiting for for a while. Mm -hmm. So I got us something to commemorate this uh, this moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold up. Close your eyes. Oh, this is going to be fucking sick. <sighs> you hear me? These are very real, by the way. Oh, okay. Am I about to get robbed? Wait, how do yeah, I? Open your Pull up, open your hand up. It's very sharp. To be careful. I'm oh, giving you the door. It's sharp? It's sharp? Yeah, grab it. Yeah, that's yours. Now, the, the, the other side, the, you're holding a blade. You can check it out. Can I open my eyes? There you go, my eyes. That's cool. No way. Yeah, you fucking kunai, man. What the hell? <laughs> this is some Counter Strike Go shit. Right? Oh my God. I know. I got some magic kunais. I feel like it'd be pretty effective with this thing. Yeah, they uh, they do fuck shit up. I've already tested them. On what? On uh, my walls. Oh, okay. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. for it, man. Can I make a mess in the stew? Yeah. It's just uh -huh. water. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> you miss? It hit my leg. It like <gasps> went down there. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. No, it's okay. Yeah, I, it's I okay. Could be, it could have stab, stab it. Yeah. Don't. Oh, oh, that went right through. Oh, that went right through. Oh, oh my god! What an awesome murder that's weapon sick. you got me, right. man. Thank you. There you go, man. Wow. I'll oh. keep this. Guys, Thanks. please subscribe to our Patreon. Tier 3 subs get a postcard and this little keychain. Schlatt's got one on his mic, too. And yeah, thank you, everyone, who's been supporting recently. It's been great. Thank I'm you. Take this. Oh, for anybody who's missing Asmund, here, I got you real quick. Uh, it is what it is. There it is, dude. Diablo 4 is really... Uh, dude, it's, it's so sick. I went to Chipotle. They fucked up my order. That was pretty good. There it is. <laughs> okay, so... Well, so for people who don't know... If you want to, well, so Asmund himself wrote a post on his subreddit. If you want to go check that out, basically he's just taking a break because I mean, sometimes being a content creator is stressful. And I think he like holds himself to really high standards. But yeah, he's just chilling after Diablo Four. It's crazy. I made one of those posts the other day because I was feeling like anxiety about my streams as well. And then people told me, "Boohoo, you play video games, bro." <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Asmund gets the same bro, shit. I'm sure but... gets that. Well, hey. I got you guys something that'll really cheer you up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it a bunch of Jenga blocks? No, no, it's not. It's from Walgreens. And oh. you'll see on the box is already a foreshadowing. Find smiles inside. And similar to, you know, how you got me something capable of killing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm. 
No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, wallet, 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 wallet. wallet. I, I got, I got my keys, bro. Yeah. Um, there you go. Is this Genesis? Yeah, Genesis. G80? Yeah, yeah, yeah. G80? Okay. What's this for? Uh, That's my mailbox key. Okay. 2023 Corvette. Oh, Corvette. With the blue interior. E-Ray? Stingray? Mm -hmm. Stingray? Mm -hmm. mm. Which car do you think is better out of curiosity? Oh, the Genesis, probably. What the fuck? Yes, sir. <laughs> Those Koreans can make a car. <sighs> it's Korean? Oh, yeah. Didn't know. I think. So, speaking of uh, debating on what is better, Schlatt, you have a channel. You have a channel called Does Schlatt Win? It's true. What's the next video, dude? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Before we started the podcast, I told him that I'm not going to be doing it anymore, <laughs> which is awesome. It up. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I have one more coming out. I don't know when this is airing, but I have another uh, rematch. This, this Friday, which I think is… Oh, okay. The 9th, the 10th? Yeah, probably the 9th. I've got an episode that's a rematch of the Pokemon debate where I brought on uh, the world's greatest Pokemon player to argue with me that a billion lions would lose against Pokemon. I don't know anybody who would possibly think a billion lions would beat one of every Pokemon. Yeah, it's, it's just preposterous that it even happened in the first place. Yeah, the fact that anybody would ever believe that a billion lions would win is insane. Yeah. Yeah, aren't there like a significant another number of Pokemon that could just like blast them? Yeah, like, that's in, the thing. In mass? Yeah. I just had a guest on my podcast who was very dumb and she said the most stupid shit ever and people ate it up like slop. Wait, what did she say? She said, she said the lions could launch themselves out of a catapult and take out all the flying Pokemon. She said that uh, the lions in extreme conditions would skin each other and form lion jackets and it would help them withstand the cold. Okay. And also, she said some pretty fucked up shit about Jesus Christ, and that got her in a lot of hot water. Oh, Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you why that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Right? That's what I was trying. I was trying to figure out how it made sense in the first place. She Ow. beat me in the debate somehow. What? Yeah, the audience voted, and she she blew me out of the water. But so, okay, if she's saying that the lions could have used items... That means the Pokemon can use items. I don't and, know what an item is. Like so catapult is an item. Yes, yeah, like, so like a yeah, like a gun, right? Like oh, go my wire. Holy shit! <laughs> so, so let's say the lions wear a coat to prevent. It's okay. I, I, yeah, I think that, I think that leaking's normal. Yeah, don't worry about it. But so let's say every Pokemon. Let's say every Pokemon could wear, use an item, right? There's an item in the game called uh, Leftovers. And what Leftovers does... It Dude, how what? many of those are there in the... <laughs> 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 uh, There's not that many. Yeah, I know, man. I love the smoke that... I love the smoke that comes out, man. You look nervous. I'm not nervous. That's just my face. That one's for later. That's, that's the <laughs> treat. <laughs> Let's say every Pokemon's using leftovers. Leftovers is an item that slowly regenerates all of the Pokemon's HP. They lose. They can't do anything against that. Yeah. There's, there's nothing they can do at all. Not to mention Pokemon like Arceus, who's God. Okay? Now, there is a debate, because I'm, I'm, I'm versed in the one billion lions versus uh, Pokemon debate. And there's this dumb shit. Uh, that people say, oh, well, any ghost Pokemon would beat the lions because they're normal type. That's not mm. true. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an inaccurate statement because every lion has a dark move equipped into their skill set. Because let's think naturally, like a lion would have the move Slash, which is normal. 80, I believe 80 base power has a higher chance of critical scaling with 100% accuracy. And they yeah, also have another that. move called Bite and or Crunch, which is dark. And dark is actually super effective against ghosts. So right. the ghost Pokemon uh, debate does not work at all. Wait, so I think I'm a little confused. So is this... A billion lions versus every Pokemon at once or every Pokemon one by one? No, it's all of them at once. At once, okay. yeah. Okay, a okay. Like a huge, just like open field and you just let them all go. Yeah. And I brought this Pokemon expert, the best Pokemon player of all time, Wolfie VGC, onto my side. Yeah. And the argument he had that I think won it this time around was 
how are the lions going to find all of them? As in, you, how will 10 billion lions or a billion lions, yeah. how will they know where the Pokemon are? There's only a thousand of them. That's true. They'll never find them all. And you know what's crazy? Mm. Two, two of the lions or two of the Pokemon will be the lions because then you have yeah. Zoro Ark and Ditto posing yeah. as fake undercover lions. It's fucked up. How That's the fuck are they going to find that? And they can divert the whole group of lions. Yep. Only how many lions can see a group of Pokemon if you have a billion of them? How many will actually be able to correctly identify where they are? They would just identify it by the corpses that the Pokemon would leave. I think we're all in agreement. Yeah, that makes sense. Before the podcast, I mean, you said a billion lions would win. No, that's not what I... He misunderstood. <sighs> he asked me the question I'd never heard before and I was like, a billion lions? Like... I was like, why the fuck? And then he thought that was me saying a billion lions would mm. win. Well, well they I wouldn't. Mean, they wouldn't. No. You'd be yeah, there's wrong no way. If you thought that. There's no way. Plus, Rayquaza alone, he would just fly in the air and just hyper beam down. See, that's how the lion catapult beat me. Because it's just so silly. You know? uh. It just wouldn't, it would never happen. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just didn't know how to respond. Like the lions are going to make a catapult. As oh. if they can do that. Those did you, fucking did you bring up Arceus at all? Yeah, yeah. Catapult. But he's in a different... Catapult. Really? Yeah. And then there was this MS Paint image of a bunch of them stacked on top of each other. And that was also... That also got me. Mm. Okay, but... But just getting to you, like, isn't, like, enough, you know? Like, what are they going to do when they get yeah, to God? Yeah, can't they, like, gun them down midair? Yeah. They're Pokemon with guns? No, like, I, oh. I don't mean literally, but like, you know, they have ranged attacks that they can yeah, shoot midair. Probably, but then there's a billion of them. So <laughs> that is a lot. that's the only, if you, if you are on the billion lion side, you win only by fucking stupidity. Yeah, but there's and the so absurdity many. of the argument. But dude, there's a billion. <laughs> nope. Jacket. Nope. Catapult. So okay. that's what but got how me the first time. Are I was they so going up all at once? They stack up on top yeah, of each other. Aren't there it's Pokemon like the, with laser beams? Can't they? Don't they have like pierce? Like you know, like that stat in like uh, Rogue, like like you know, they can pierce through multiple. Yeah, there's there's tons. But the other thing is like, how the fuck is a lion gonna hold up ten million lions on his back? He's not. That's what I'm saying. The stack up makes no sense. Exactly. How, <laughs> how many dinosaurs were there? No, I don't think there's dinosaurs in the. No, but I was like, question. how many dinosaurs were there? How many were there? Yeah, there's probably like there's probably like a billion dinosaurs. No, no a way. billion. There's no probably way. a billion dinosaurs. No were there way. a billion dinosaurs? I no, feel like there's no way. There's oh, seven point no. two billion humans on Earth right now. Dude, what? Isn't there? It's. I don't think it was. There's a, eight. Eight billion. Yeah, humans? eight billion. Yeah, so there could there's, there's probably a billion dinosaurs. So you think there'd be one dinosaur for every eight people? Well, there's some small dinosaurs. They're like fish. Yeah, that's true. They hit some tiny ones. Yeah. Wait, there were fish dinosaurs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alligator. Crocodile. Those are dinosaurs? Oh, Closest dude. we'll ever get. We got to talk about crocodiles later. I found out some crazy shit. Okay. What I'm saying is, if one meteor took out all the dinosaurs... There might there couldn't have been too many. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a Pokemon called Garchomp. <laughs> He has a move called Draco Meteor. One of them's, that's got to blow up at least 100 million lions. Depending on how many meteors a dinosaur, how many meteors that, that kill dinosaurs. I'm going to Google how many dinosaurs. Wait, how are. many like, fact checkers? How many like elephants are there? Because like, mm. I feel that's like a big animal, you know? Dinosaurs were pretty animal. big animals. How many dinosaurs were there? I feel like the bigger an animal you are, the harder it is for there to be a lot because, you know, you need a lot of your own space. That's true. Humans are kind of different because we Two, figured out how to live on top of each other. This is going to blow your mind. Right. 2.5 billion dinosaurs. Really? Bodied by one meteor. Garchomp can use five. That seems absurd to me. Wait. How, did, how didn't the meteor completely yeah, destroy? How, does anyone know how, that, how did the meteor kill all of them? So pretty much uh, the meteor... Uh, it was uh, it was fighting type, and all of the dinosaurs were normal type. So it crit, it crit, right? So then there's the initial two times damage, and then but th there's the same type attack bonus from the meteor, as well as then it crit, 
And so it was doing like four times damage. So mm. why were the dinosaurs all grouped up? Uh, <laughs> that was their first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were trying to make a, a ladder. <laughs> yeah, they're like, don't worry, guys. We'll just build a, we'll build a ladder. No, they were really, catapulting at it, too. But why were... So, mm. if it was one meteor, how did it get all of them? It went... It sent soot traveling all around the world. It didn't completely block out the sun, but it reduced the amount of light. So, it had... An, so... Wait, so a lot of them didn't die from the meteor. They died from starving because it was so dark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it got, it got really hungry and cold. Yeah. Fucking pussies. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> bro, My just God. eat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that completely invalidates the lion jacket hypothesis as well because they can't just get warm. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's another thing. Like, where's the other... A billion lions? They're going to ravage everything and start eating each other. There has to be a Pokemon that can block out the sun. There, well, there is Pokemon do have control over the environment with moves like Sunny Day, uh, which makes it real hot and increases fire type damage, mm. uh, as as well as make Solar Beam cast in one turn with no cooldown. Um, as well as I mean, there's there's a move called Fucking Blizzard, cause a blizzard. There's a move <laughs> called Earthquake. You should do that one against them. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do? Yeah. Mm. Now, the other thing is, I'm pretty sure we can put that to bed. Pretty sure Pokemon oh, yeah. just wins 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk to you about is, uh, I want to talk about, what is it, flight versus invisibility. Okay. And then I want to talk about what y'all think the best superpower is. Because I have, I know the last time you said teleportation for that. Sure, yeah. I think teleportation is the best one. But I think we should talk about flight versus invi- invisibility first. Okay. Emmy, which one would you pick? For fly versus invisibility, yeah. like which one would I prefer to have, or which is stronger? What do you think? I'm gonna be invisible. Okay, but what, what are we arguing? Which one's the best, or which one beats the other one, or which one would we want? Which one would you just, prefer? The, which one's stronger? Best. I mean, there's no the real, best. there's no real point to any of these discussions. It's just, uh, you know, I think, I think there's a huge point. Okay, yeah, I think they're very important. I, to talk do about. you have like a a genie in a bottle, or you decide or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Well, here, let me make the case for you. You're invisible. Mm-hmm. You can f- infinitely more fuck around potential because yep. you're invisible and no one can see you. So you, I can just vanish and then I can be anywhere I want and I can fucking play bongos on that bald ass head of yours <laughs> or something. You'd be you, like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you pick, Emmy? For stronger, probably invisibility too. Because like, if you can fly, that's that's cool. But like, how is that that useful? Because you can you can travel, sure, but it's like. Why not just an airplane's faster? Like you're trying to fight someone, you fly above them. It's like, then what? What if you're still like a weak ass bitch? Here's what what? happens. You fly above someone. uh Uh-oh. Now you got the cops called on you. And now the government is taking you somewhere. Invisibility is all about, is all about vanishing flight. You instantly have a a huge ass target on your head. You're like, you're, you're like the beginning of stranger things with that girl in the fucking government who screams about waffles, you know her? Yeah, then 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 they, then they join FaZe and they get berated. Yeah, mm. yeah. They're going to run little experiments on you all day. They're going to poke and prod at you with little knives mm. and they're going to figure out what makes you tick. Yeah, you can't even fly away because they can just like catch you with a big ass net from like a helicopter exactly. or something. They've got sonar, they've got LIDAR, <laughs> they've got missiles. What's You're not LIDAR? going anywhere. Is that so, real? Yeah, yeah. What is that? It's like sonar. What's the difference? Did you make it up? No. One, <laughs> no, no one's, sonars with sound, lidars with lasers. Wait, but can't they detect you with oh sonar God. too if you're invisible? And then you have less mobility. Yeah, but how would they know to do it? They would have to cast it at all times. Okay, but they could still find you if they knew. Yeah, but if you're smart about it, no one will ever know you're invisible in the first place. Yeah. Mm. That's the thing. You fly anywhere. All of a sudden, you're showing up on on lidar <laughs> and so on. Well, then, what are you using the invisibility for? Whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever the fuck you want, man. Because I feel like anybody who would choose flying doesn't understand the existence of jetpacks, which are already real. Or what any person at home can do is get two of those pressure washers and put them in each mm. hand. And then blow them up. And then you can probably get some amount of flight off of that as well. Yeah, it's a thing you can do. 
Oh, uh, well, fly. actually, in that case, if this is just like for personal use, like we're not mm -hmm. trying to find anyone, then I would choose to fly because then I could just like float up and sleep on my ceiling and no one could find me and bother me. But you could also just turn invisible on your bed and nobody could find you or bother you. Yeah, but then what if like they try to like rummage through my bed to see if I'm there and mm. then, then they're like, oh shit, she's right there. But on the ceiling, the ceilings are really tall in Texas houses. <laughs> but they'd see you. Yeah, they would just you look up. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would they look up if they don't expect me to be up there and it's really tall? Maybe they yawned. And they're like, and they see you. Like, what are you doing on the ceiling, Abby? Why are you flying? Maybe you need to like turn the lights on and then you're in front of the light. Okay, and but then they're like, yeah. why imagine the light like on? you're alone. And like you're just bored and you're like watching TV. Like, yeah. doesn't like floating while you're doing it sound more fun than just like being invisible while you're doing it? No, but imagine if you were okay, watching TV, yeah, fucking right. I would rather just turn invisible, go into somebody's house, and then watch their family like talk about shit. Y'all don't get it because you're <laughs> tall. I'm 5'3. Okay, this would be really good for me <laughs> if I could float. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how I hate how short people think they have it bad. They have it so much better than tall people. It's fucking ridiculous. How? <laughs> First of all, tall people die quicker. Okay. That is a genuine fact. Oh, fuck. They that's do? a new debate. Short versus tall. Yeah, short no, versus tall. I did tall. that one too. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> that's not me. And that's oh, it, the it is on the started. list. Yeah. Like, okay, let me tell you why my life sucks because I'm tall. First of all, I'm like, I was six foot eight. Now I'm six foot six because my spine's fucked up. He shrunk? Yeah, my spine shifted, so I lost two inches. I was playing Pokemon Go, right? So I'm, I'm in my apartment, my 3-4 apartment, uh, and Pokemon Go, when it first came out, it said the Pokemon and then how many steps it was away. Like uh -huh. one step, two step, three step. Yeah. Three step was like super far, one step was like right there. Okay? It said there was a Nitto Queen or it was a Nitto King, can't remember, like right outside my house, one step away. So I run down three flights of stairs, and I'm sprinting out of my like my parking lot to make sure I can get there to get the Nitto Queen. Um... Here's the surface. Here's the pothole. Left foot here. Oh, no. Right foot pothole. <laughs> like that. Couldn't stand up straight for like seven months. They called me Camelback John in my, in my college. So being tall sucks, right? I lived in a Chevy Spark. A fucking Chevy Spark. As a six foot eight. This was pre-time skip tech down. So I was still six foot eight. A Chevy Spark for like a year. Like that tiny ass fucking car. Right? I can't buy shoes unless I order them offline. I can't buy shit at the mall because I'm too fucking tall. All, all the all the shirts, they go up to my tummy. All the sleeves, they make me look like a fucking idiot. Long sleeves, barely get up the hair on me. It's horrible. I have to eat more. It, it costs so much to exist while being tall. I see fuckers like you go to McDonald's and order a double cheeseburger and you're full. I'm six foot eight. I have to order half the fucking menu and I'm still hungry. It's the worst. Yeah, wait, so being sh a shorter person means you're more efficiently designed. Yes. Yeah. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Yes to which side? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was arguing that tall people are better. How? Um, Because it's fucking awesome. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know. Dude, when has being short ever been cool? I get fucking bullied for my height. I'm not even that short for a girl. The yeah. average height of a girl is like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, in America. When when you're outliving all of the tall people, you can go to their grave and <laughs> say, yeah, how is it now, fucking dumb bitch? Tolly. What are you doing? I know you were about to stab Nessie. It's not even real. It's an urban legend. It's real because it's on my car keys. Uh-huh. You can sell merch about anything. It doesn't make it real. The one on my car keys is real. You think that girl on Techie's shirt is real? Mm -hmm. No. I, I'm literally looking at her right now. Bro, isn't she so hot? She's not real. She doesn't love you. But isn't she so hot? She's hot. Yeah, she is hot. Are you still the Gamersups guy? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. man. You know we're both sponsored by Gamersups now? I know. I inked that deal. That's right. My cup's yeah. coming out soon. Fuck yeah. Dude, I'm not going to say anything about a cup that I may or may not have. But it' gonna be crazy if I have one. <laughs> that one go be crazy. I saw, the, I saw a draft. I <laughs> Me too. Of a cup that may or may not exist. <clears throat> is is that the most down horrendous cup you've ever seen for a gamer stuff? Or is there one that's worse that comes to mind? Because I know pay that money. One, it was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. Pretty bad. I quote: "You said, do not tell tips." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if they scratch my design, I would be so sad. No, I don't I don't think they will. Bro, it's so hot. I know Pay Money Wubby's Cup is so is super hot. 
Oh yeah, super hot. Can you get me a uh, a Nanner's cup? There's Nanner's cups. Yeah, Nanner's has a cup. Oh, I didn't even know that. You can just probably ask. I have. Oh, they said they don't exist, and they they retail online for like five hundred bucks. Oh, you might have to buy one then. Yeah, I think they'd lie about not having any. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I have to buy one from a scalper. Do you think that's bad? Do you think it's bad to promote to like to give into scalping? No, not if you want it. I used to be a scalper. Oh there you my go. God. Yeah. Wait, what did you scalp? Uh, amiibos. Amiibos. Oh. Oh. I would buy them for fifteen bucks and then sell them again the same day for like hundred twenty to like eighty bucks. It was sick. Now, I want to talk about the debate that I've been thinking about since I came here. Okay. What is the best superpower? Teleportation. Mind control. Why? Because if you have mind control, you don't have to do anything. Other people do it for you. But I feel like it'd be really boring. Why do you think teleportation is the greatest power? Anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Can you can you carry stuff? Like if you were to touch that yeah, one item. One item? One item, yeah. One what item. about one human? I haven't thought about it that much. That would be crazy. Wait, could, so is, is yours like the most fun superpower or the most strong? Because I think mind control is the most strong. Yeah, no. I think just, I, I, again, there's no real like, there's no real point of any of these arguments. So like, yes, there, there is. is. <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> we're just trying to explain why we think it's the best. I guess the best, I don't know about most powerful. But I'd have the most fun with teleportation. I'm going to tell you why this is an important debate. Okay. And that's because the human brain is 2.5 thousand terabytes. Okay. My PC has a two terabyte, two terabyte hard drive. That means we only need to multiply that by 1,200 or so before I die. I'm going to download my brain onto a USB. Mm. I'm going to reprogram myself into an artificial human being. And at that point, once we become robots, the possibilities and the customization for who we are as humans is endless, essentially. So I'm preparing for the future. And that's why I think the greatest superpower of all time, you ready for this? Better blow your mind. Okay. Nobody's ever thought of this before. <laughs> besides one man, Iraqi. Besides Iraqi. Time erasure. See that? Tectone, if you erase certain things. Yeah. That just might not be good for optics, you know? No. What would you erase? Okay, now watch this, okay? Time erasure. The ability to erase time. Okay, a lot of people are wondering, how the fuck do you erase time? I'm going to explain how. So let's say teleportation. That's cool because you can get yeah. places instantly, right? Right. So I walk, and in my head, I'm like, I'm going to China, right? Erase time. I'm now in China. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go there still? No, all I have to do is think. I'm going to China. I erased the time that it took me to get to China. No, it, you still, you have to go there no. first yeah, what, and then wait, erase wait, the wait, time. Wait, but afterwards. I erased it. But I erased it. Wait, but wouldn't right. it still have effects on your body? Like you just walked through the ocean or yeah. whatever. You still have to like sit on the Spirit Airlines flight for 30 hours. No, I wouldn't because I erased that time. It's been erased. It's been erased. <laughs> it's been forgotten. Wait, but or it, like it no, never happened. It never happened. Because if it never happened, then you're back to the no, to airport no, terminal. No, Wait, would it still exist in your memory? No, it's been erased. Oh my God. Unless I want it to. I have the ability to erase. This Imagine. is more than one power. <laughs> no, no, no. Just time erasure. Watch this. I shoot a gun. Traffic. Right? I've shot a gun. Okay? Mm. I erased the fucking time. For like a second. This is stupid. No, no this is stupid. This best. doesn't make any sense. It what do you mean? Okay, so it I does. shoot you, right? Yep. I erase time. Is the bullet still in you? Nope. So how do you expect to still be in China? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No, be, no, because <laughs> you shot me. Erase time, right? Cameron, edit that So in. we jump back, is what you're saying. Nope, nope. So what I would have done was, I would have erased okay. the time. <laughs> yeah, That's all you have to do. I erased time, right? I erased the time where the bullet would have hit me. Uh-huh. And now it hasn't because I erased the time where it did. What? So you erased the time of you going to China? <laughs> yes. Yes. And you are China. no longer in China. No. You're not there anymore. What do you mean, no? No, no, okay. So if I walk to China, right? Okay, well, what's your plan to walk to China? You're walking to walk. the ocean? No, I'm just like this. He said walk. I could, why, I could, why, why walk? I could also fly. But you also, can't. I could. No, oh, on a plane. Oh. Right? Get in my car. Get in the plane. Oh, forget I said. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fucking China, right? It's that easy. Because... No, but then the time doesn't exist anymore. No, it does. How can it reverse a bullet? Go it doesn't... No. Erase time. It doesn't... It doesn't. I don't get it. <laughs> it doesn't erase the time, right? So it's like, for example, a bread, it's falling over. Okay? Uh-huh. I erase the time where what it was time? falling over. Okay, so the time where it goes from like... like watch, watch. Okay? Here's a water bottle. Right? But I erased the time where it was falling, and so now it's just that. Like, it's still gonna happen. Then how? So, how is the bullet not in you anymore? Because I erased the time where it impacted. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is the stupidest <laughs> no, fucking thing I've ever you? heard in my entire life. No, it's all right. This is the stupidest agree. fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire The bullet's still in you. No, but I erased it where it hit me. No. No, because no. Okay, have you ever heard of King Crimson? No. That's what I would name my power, King Crimson. Okay. He, 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 <laughs> that's, it's a cool name, right? I erased the timer. It would have hit me, right? And then here's the best thing, okay? So now I shoot a bullet at you, right? You're going to teleport. I fucking, King Crimson, I fucking erased the time where you would have dodged with your teleportation. And now the bullet's inside of you because I erased the time where you would have teleported. Is that not insane? Is that not the greatest? So the bullet? Yes. You erase the time. Yes. And the bullet yep. goes into me. Yep. But when the bullet goes into you, yep. you erase the time. Yeah. And now there's magically not a bullet in you anymore. Yeah, because I erased where it would have hit me. I'm not going to save you. I could, but you're my enemy, right? In this scenario where we're fighting. No, that's insane. And that doesn't make any fucking sense. It does and everybody sense. in the comments will agree with me that that's the stupidest fucking thing no, you've said. Because, because probably on the podcast. But I can't be for sure. There's cause and effect, uh -huh. right? It's This is the cause. That's the effect. I just erase the time where it takes the time to get to the effect, right? You erase the cause? <laughs> no, I erase the time between the cause and the effect. It makes sense. This is this is one of those things that you'd see in an anime and you'd be like, I don't get it. And then you Google it and it's exactly what you watch. But everyone's like, oh yeah, no, it makes sense. And you're still like, <laughs> What? <laughs> I you stop waving that thing around? It's making me nervous. It's also making you me really nervous. Thank Although Slide has a fucking gun. Like, watch this. Watch this. I am going to show you exactly how it works. Okay? So no, essentially, not. this is how time erasure works. Cameron, I erase the time. What? And now just say, He's oh, yeah, that makes sense. parts just of the say, podcast. Please stop. say, please no. say, oh, yeah, that's no. all. No, no. Please, it would be such a cool edit. <laughs> I, I would mind control Cam Cameron to not fuck with the footage no, and present oh, it God. exactly oh, how it happened. Yeah. Does it erase after you do this, this yeah. swiping motion? Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> so, erase time. So anyone near you will <laughs> see, will see you go, erase time, <laughs> and do that, and yeah. then there's some are entirely different. <laughs> yeah. And they will not question Yo, the situation. Can I, have, can I have my bugles? Yes, you can. What the <laughs> fuck just changed? What, what, were, what were you erasing? In that I was scenario? erasing the time of the, me throwing the bugles. was erasing between the cause and the effect. Yeah, so uh, you said bugles, erase time. Boom. Wait, so they teleported to me? Yes. And I'm starting to get it now. <laughs> this, makes, it? this makes total sense in it's my head. It's fucking sick, right? I time erasure. One bugle. Because I waited for these and they arrived after we start. Would you like a bugle shot? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a bugle. You know, I had this girl who, uh, it was like one of the first crushes I ever experienced where she would feed me bugles off her fingertips and she would make me like suck her fingers for the bugles. Do you want to eat a bugle off my fingertips? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Um, Can we talk about my favorite debate from this entire podcast series I've done? Yeah. How many holes are in a straw? One. Yeah, one. One? Why? Because it goes all the way through. Mm. Go down. What's a hole? I feel like there's an entrance and an exit, but there's only one hole. Mm. Yeah? Okay. What do you think? I think there's two. Oh. I can prove it to you. Yeah, you can. Yes, I can. You can try. Yes, I can. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I had superpowers, bro. So, where's the cap to this water? Oh, it's right there. I see it. It's right there. There. There you go. Just a... 
<laughs> All right, See, so you're getting it. we've got a water. Let's pretend there's not a gash in this water, okay? I'm trying to get water out of the bottle. Mm. Nothing, nothing coming out if it was a perfect water bottle, right. right? Yep. How do I get water out of here? Open the hole. Open the hole. Water's coming out of one. I just poured it all, all over my foot. Yep. Is this a hole? Is there a hole in this bottle? Yes. No. No. There's no hole in this bottle. It's an Wait, entrance. What? There's an entrance in the bottle. It yeah, has an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that's a hole. No, it's a, it's not a hole. That's not a hole. That's not... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, so are you saying if you if you dig six feet down in the ground, it's not a hole because there's no exit? So then what do what are people buried in? Caskets. No. What does the casket go into? Dirt. No. What <laughs> what is in the dirt? An entrance into the earth's surface. <laughs> so Emmy, you're on my team. You truly deep down, you think that there's two holes in a straw. Wait, how? No, I think there's one. Okay. That goes so you all agree, the way through. You agree that there's a hole here? Yes. Water comes out the hole. Okay, but there there's such thing as an infinite hole. I cut another one. Boom. Boom. Okay, so there's now a there's, new spot for there's water to come there's out. Multiple there's, holes now. there's multiple holes now. There's multiple now. holes now. Yes. There's multiple holes. Yes. So water can come in here and go out there. And yes. there's multiple holes. Yes. Yeah, same hole. Crazy. But same it's hole. not the same hole. There's, it's the same hole. It's the same hole in the straw because it's continuous. You just said it's not the same hole? It's the same hole. Wait. See, you just, you just see, no, 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 no one no, actually no, knows I what meant, they believe. I, I know what I believe. No one hole. actually knows what they believe. <laughs> and this is what I do. I, I, I take, I give people the red pill on these subjects. Yeah, you know, take a pair of pants. Take your pants off, Tecton. Okay, dude. Okay, now what? Uh, All the way off for me. All the way. Uh -huh. Is he wearing pants or not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up? So hold the pants up. Okay. Damn, these are nice pants. Tecton, hmm? how many holes are in this pair of pants? One hole. One hole. One hole. <laughs> Why? Why? It's just Let's like, now listen to Tecton and try to explain why there's one hole in the pair of pants. There's one hole that's been created, but there are three entrances. Right? Yeah, Many yeah, they're not. Mm. Are his pants actually off? Yeah, yeah, they're off. Yeah, yeah put them back on. <laughs> Thanks, Lab. The bugle's off my finger. No. No? No. Mm. Dude, some of these, like, this is not fair. Like, there's like these, and then there's these. Like the difference in, in powder. Yeah, but that's, you know how, you know the saying, uh, you need sadness to be happy, to know what happiness is? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You'd hook yourself up to a machine that just pumped dopamine in you, and you'd call it a day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You do? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's uh, terrifying. You wouldn't? No, because I think at some point you'd lose sense of what, Happiness is, and you just but then you just have more happiness. baseline again. You just have more happiness, and you'd be pumped up with more dopamine. No, you wouldn't pump yourself up with with sadness. You would pump yourself up with neutrality, right? Like uh, you you get this happiness pumped into you, and then you just like look at a wall for an hour to reset. No, that's the thing. the 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 hypothetical is: Would you keep the supply constant? Oh no, I would do it in doses when I need it. Mm. That's fair. I feel like that's it's like being like a vegetable or something. I don't know. Which one, like a carrot? Like celery? You ever notice yeah. that celery just tastes like dirt? <laughs> yeah, that's where it comes from. It's in there. Celery makes dirt? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where'd you get sh those? I want one. Oh, I got Where'd you. you get those? I forget what we were talking about. No, oh, you know how you'll, you, you know how, you, my favorite example of this is when you're eating frosted mini wheats. You know frosted mini wheats? Yeah, mm -hmm. the things that you have 30 seconds to eat before they become fucking slime. Yeah. But you know how sometimes you'll, you'll get a piece and it'll have almost no frosting on it and you're like, I don't even want to eat this piece. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still eat it because you're waiting for the piece to come along that has the extra frosting on it that completely makes up for the, the lackluster one that came before. And in some cases, you'll get real lucky and you'll get two pieces stuck to each other 
with a whole bunch of frosting on. That's the that's the cream of the crop right there. You know what? You're right. Yeah. So you need those shitty bugles to exist to really be able to enjoy the good ones. And you can't even fit a bugle on your finger anymore. They're all pressed shut. I don't know if you noticed yeah, this. Did you notice they that? They pressed they're all, they're all the bugles shut. Now. Yeah, I don't like that. Does it fit more in the bag? They probably prevent people from feeding people with their fingers. Yeah, and sucking on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably feel that. They put out a press release, guys. You know, <laughs> please don't be doing that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you guys nope. believe in God? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, no, no, no. it's not so much that I believe in God, but it's like I believe in morality and that your fact, your actions affect what comes next because this isn't the only thing, right? There's another level. Mm. There is. Oh, yeah. I felt it a billion percent. My brother thinks I'm a shaman. Did they ever tell you that? No. So I like see shit. Mm. Right? People dismiss it as like a mental illness. Right. I think I'm just communed with the spirits. Weren't you trying to convince me that I, I was a shaman because I was hearing noises at 3 a.m.? Yeah. Fuck you for that. Yeah. Fuck you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Kevin. These guys... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. But you go to hell for for that. <laughs> yeah, I know, man, I know. Cats or dogs? Cats. 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 No, I'm scared to answer the religion thing because do you ever get those viewers that like they're like, hey, like, uh, are you a like? Are you Christian? And like, you don't know why, but you can just get the sense that like they're what you say next is like really bank, like it really banks on a, <laughs> how they're going to view you forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to explain very quickly, very eloquently why cats are superior to dogs. Okay. Dogs are cool because they're very nice and they love you. But the problem is 98% of dogs, and I'm sure if you're listening, your dog is different. 98% of dogs just love everything. And that's awful, right? They like whoever has the fucking beef jerky in their fucking hand. Mm -hmm. Cats hate everyone, right? But then if they like you, oh my God. It's the best feeling in the whole world being your cat's favorite person, bro. It's the best. I have this cat called Eggy. Jay, I'm gonna send you a photo. Put up this adorable ass photo of my fucking cat. He looks like a Christmas tree. Uh, I'm going to put in the steak and eggs chat. He does have a very cute cat. I do. This podcast is called Steak and Eggs? Yeah. Did we not say that before? Look at my fucking cat. So cute. Wait, do you, do, you, do you get oh. it? It's because Asmund is known for the the $2 steak. And then people call me and him egg. So it's steak and eggs. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. That's cool, right? That's cool. What would you name the podcast? I remember it was going to be called the OTK Podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I think this is better than that. Look at that cat. That's a good cat. Oh, I, I put a bandana on him. Isn't he cute? He's cute. You can hardly see the bandana. I know he's, he's a big so fluffy. fluffy boy. Oh, yeah, with, bigger bandana. With steak and eggs, I posted in the group chat and I was like, I thought this name steak and eggs. Wouldn't that be funny? But now we shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good ass name, dude. Yeah, I feel like the OTK podcast wouldn't be a good idea, in my opinion. No. Yeah. I'm good. What would you name it? I don't know. Holy fuck. Your inner monologue there was insane. I saw a lot of pain in those eyes. <laughs> I saw a lot of pain. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what you have for. <laughs> you, I can just imagine you trying to do that casually. Like something embarrassing happens. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, Jesus Christ, move on. So about cats, my cat's name is Bunky. 
and she's a Maine Coon like Techies. Mm. It was actually originally Ms. Kiff's cat. He paid like $2,000 for the cat, but now it's my cat. They're the cat likes me more, so it's my cat. Bunky? Bunky. What is with people buying cats? Cat they they were like with when I got Jambo, they were like this 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 little runt has ringworm. Take him. Take him. <laughs> Pick him up They're off like, the here, street. Here, have this one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I took him. I've uh I have adopted slash rescued throughout my lifetime about 13 different cats. Mm. I have bought from breeders uh around five. Um, rescuing animals, highly recommend. Very, very, very good. Uh, definitely need somebody to do that. There's a lot of cats being thrown out and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, if I ever saw a cat on the side of the road, I'll like bring him in, take him to that, be like, here you go, mm. give him to somebody else. Do, in his, for some reason, I went to his house like a couple weeks ago mm. to bring him something back that I borrowed. He was sitting in his driveway with two Scottish folds just like laying next to him in the driveway. I was like, what the mm. fuck is this? He's like, oh, they're just the neighborhood stray cats. They're just hanging yep. out in the driveway. <laughs> yep. I, I fucking love cats. You have an, a, a really strange ability to bond with them really quickly. Because mm. I remember when I was living with S-Fand, um, Jambo is still, to this day, he's, he's skittish as fuck around new, new people. He is, a, he is a definition of a scaredy cat. And uh, anything new, he's just like, it takes him a while. He's very friendly mm. once you get to know him, but he doesn't fuck with new people. But Jim was a really good guy. Do you think it's because Techie smells like a bunch of cats, so other cats are like, oh, like other cats trust this guy? Maybe, but he just- It's like, he, it's like trust pilot reviews, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, was the yeah, only, <laughs> it was the only person I'd, I'd ever seen this happen with, where Tectone just walked into the room and he extended his hand out to Jambo and Jambo just came right the fuck over. And I was like, yeah, How the well, fuck? I feel like if I was a cat and there was someone who came in and like it was just like blank slate, I would be like, Oh, I don't know. But if someone came in that smelled like 10 different fucking cats, I'd be like, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think it's there's this whole thing with like cat owners. I go for years about this. People don't get that cats are different than dogs, like they are fucking different, bro. And they're also cat people treat cats like furniture. Which I hate. They're like, oh, I got a cat to decorate my fucking house with that I'll never talk to, never play with. Like, when people don't play with their cats, it's insane. But, like, I treat a cat like a fucking cat. So, when I see a cat, I get up. I raise the pitch of my voice that way I can talk to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, cat! Hey! <laughs> hey, cat! <laughs> I make myself lower the ground because I'm not going to want to talk to this fucking six year old. Get low to the ground, and then I extend. My arm is far away with my fucking mouth where I can eat them as possible. I'm like, hey, buddy, here's a treat. Here's a fucking treat. Right? Yeah. But people, people, dude, I hate when I invite <laughs> people over to my house. They're wearing like boots and shit. Cat, first of all, cats hate shoes. The majority of cats hate shoes. Really? Yeah, because, Why? because at least, let me phrase that. My cats hate shoes. Oh. A lot of cats also hate shoes because if you if you step on a cat's foot wearing a pair of boots, that's going to fucking hurt. And also, whenever you're wearing shoes, that means that you're probably going to take them outside that probably associate shoes with going to the vet, shoes with fucking, I don't fucking know, getting hit with a fucking shoe. Uh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. All I know is my cats hate shoes, so I'm assuming all cats hate shoes. But... I feel like the biggest thing for cat owners is just play with your cats for 15 minutes a day. It will make the biggest difference. It is insane. Like, just try it for a week. Play with your cat for 15 minutes every day. And don't think, oh, well, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. Like, that to them is like them going in hunt mode. And like, that to them is like cocaine for their fucking brain. So just like literally take it. Go to Starbucks, get a straw, throw the straw. I bet somebody out there watching right now is going to realize their cat plays fetch and they don't even realize it. Just take a straw, throw it. Somebody's going to bring it back. Send me a photo on Twitter. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, my name is Emeru. And what I'm probably best known for is just how buff I am. Check it out. But you already knew that. But you're probably wondering how I got here, which leads me to today's sponsor, FitBod. FitBod is a fitness app that uses AI technology to customize your workout plan for you. It takes things into account like how much space you have, what equipment you have, what workouts that you enjoy. Even though I just have my room and minimal equipment, it still gives me a bunch of different things to do. 
Some of the workouts on there I hadn't even seen before, but the app has detailed videos and instructions to teach you how to do them. So if you're like me and don't exactly know what you're doing, the app will help you figure out what you're supposed to do. Once you get started, it starts to track everything and design workouts unique for you. It's just better than having to write your progress down in a journal or keep track. It just makes it easier. Wherever you are in your fitness journey, get the most out of every workout with FitBod. Get 20% off our subscription at fitbod.me slash steak and eggs. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash steak and eggs. The link is in the description, so support our podcast by checking it out. I got a new cat recently. Soup. People call him that. That's not his name. <laughs> That's not his name. I'm not going to reveal it yet because I'm holding out to get another 10 million view video. You're going to reveal the cat? You're going to, and the title's going to be name, my then. new cat soup. It would be funny if his name was, <laughs> maybe, I will. maybe I'll just call him soup at this point. No, he was, uh, he's, he's the oldest, he's the eldest cat. He's older than Jambo by four or five years. How's that possible? He's a stray. How is he older than Jambo? Jambo's two. But you just got him. What? How is no, he older like than Jambo? His age. His age, Techie. Older. Older. Because you got... I get it. Because you yeah. got him when he was older. I got him when he nah, was he older. Was, just because you yeah, got him yeah. doesn't mean he was just born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes Hold sense. Hold him off the street. Where'd you find him? Where is that? Where's Where's we'll, we'll have to censor that. <laughs> because that was, that's where he was. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, he, he was living on the street all his life. Six years at least. And he is a fiend. You can tell, you know, like he's getting up there. Like I think a couple more years outside would have would have done him in. Yeah. Because he's, you know, I don't know how long cats can last out there once they start hitting middle age. Yeah, people who let their cats go outdoor, I don't like. It reduces their yeah. lifespan drastically. Well, I'm keeping him in now. Yeah. He is, a, he is a beast. He's a feral beast. And you can turn that switch on him real quick when you start playing with him. You wave something right in front of his face yep. all of a sudden. Hmm. All of a sudden, his eyes, just like you see that stare. Mm -hmm. like, he's, like he's lived it his entire life. Yep. He, does he um, get along with Jambo? Yeah, he does. He does. Hmm. There, there was... A lot of rocky beginnings oh, shit. where where this this guy has uh, lived with and amongst cats his whole life. And the only experience he's probably had with them is like being very territorial and shit. He warmed right up to Jambo somehow. Because Jambo's a good cat. And Jambo did not fuck with him one bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, Jambo was just trying to get, get the fuck away from me the whole, the whole, for like a week at least. And uh, he just kept being persistent. He'd just like keep a couple feet away from him yeah. so that Jambo couldn't like get, a, he just had to get used to it. And uh, I want to say a month or two in, he started this thing where he just cleans Jambo now. Oh my God, that's so he just Wherever he is, he is just, he walks right up to him and he starts like, just yeah. like right all over him. And then he sometimes he'll like, I think that f that switch will flip and he's like, oh, fuck. Like, he'll go back to the streets for a second in his mind. And yeah. then all of a sudden, he just like lets out a little bite on Jambo. Yeah. And I was like, ah, yeah. like, stop. <laughs> but it, it's the sweetest uh -huh. thing. It, they fight a lot. They chase each other around a lot. And then, you know, when they're both tired, they will just lay on each other and clean each other. And Bro, it's what great. Oh, that's so cute. It is yeah. so cute. What the hell? And I think he's, I think this new guy is caught in between like really loving his new sheltered life of not having to worry about anything. And so like when he's tired, he will just walk right up to you and lay on you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. He's like a little stuffed animal. Um, but then when he's awake, he is fucking nuts and you need to like tame him. He sounds awesome. He is awesome. He's fucking great. I never understood why like cats will try to get out of their house. And like go outside. Now, generally, it means that they're unhappy in the house and they do that too often. Mm -hmm. Like, I have this fucking dumbass. Well, he's not actually dumb. He's actually a genius. I have this genius cat called Beppin, where he's always thinking about going outside. And if you think about it from a cat's point of fucking view, and it goes back to the dopamine and the happiness and the sadness argument that we were talking about, why in the fuck would any of these dumb fucking cats ever want to leave my house where infinite food rains from the sky, infinite water? They didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. They need to just lay there. I pet them. I rub their head. I, I clean their coat. I give them their favorite food, their favorite drinks. I play with them every day. And they're like, you know what? I want to go chill with the coyotes. They are the dumbest fucking things on earth. But I will admit, Bevan is very smart. He knows how to open doors. 
Oh, which is the worst. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dangerous. He gets in the cupboards. Uh, he likes climbing up the fireplace. That was fun to get him down, and now I blocked it off. Uh, pretty he much went up the chimney. Yeah, he went up the chimney. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Had to get him down from the chimney. Yeah, no, I, I got a little broom and I whacked it around till he fell down. Oh my and, god! Wait, how high up was he? Probably not higher than six feet. Oh, probably that's, not that's higher still than pretty six high. feet. Yeah, but a, but a cat can fall pretty far. No, I, I know. I'm just yeah. saying that's crazy. He crawled up that high. Yeah, well, yeah. he would like put his back against the wall and then like mm. cat his way up. You know, that's that's the only way that I can assume. Or maybe he just jumped and then just deployed his balance beacons. I don't fucking know. Hmm. Uh, but he's a he's a fucking genius. Um, he he knows exactly how to get me to get food. Um, he also knows how to mentally manipulate the other cats into getting them to beg me for food. Because for example, if Beppin asks me for food, I will not do it. But if Beppin gets Eggy to ask me for food, because he's my favorite, I will always do it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the worst because I go to take my shower. Eggy follows me in. And he sits there and he watches me bathe. And the moment I get out, he just starts screaming like an alarm. <laughs> like It's loud. Like everybody in the whole house, can I live with two people. They can all hear it. They're like, oh yeah, Techie's up because Eggie's fucking screaming. And then he screams all the way to the closet um, because in the closet are his favorite cans of cat food. And wow. Beppin knows that if he gets if he gets Eggie to follow me into the shower by opening the fucking door, <laughs> that's, how gets, that's how he gets Eggie. He's, he's like, like going there. <laughs> Dude, I'll send you a video of this shit sometimes. It is so fucking obnoxious. Because I see the handle going like this. <laughs> and then I see it get pulled down. And then Beppin go, the door slams the fuck open. Wow. It's so cute. And then Eggy gets his tuna and Beppin knows I can't just give a tuna to Egg. There's no way to do that. I have to put right. it on a plate and then he steals the fucking fruit from the plate. Damn. I know. He's a fucking bastard. <sighs> oh, and he eats fingers. Do your cats do that? No. No. Yeah, whenever you put a finger on him, he bites it. It's the cutest thing. But he doesn't bite with his fangs. He bites with his little, the little, the little gummy guys right up front. Yeah, Soup, soup does a little, he does play bites. No, no, no. I know. I'm just calling him that so it's easy to. Yeah. <laughs> He'll yeah. do. So somehow, I don't know if this was like something he learned out on the streets is like a warning sign. But what he'll do is if you can you can be roughing him up and, and shit. But if he's ready to like start biting or get a little more aggressive, he just, just opens his mouth <laughs> and he shows you his teeth a little bit. And that's like his warning. Like other cats will just jambo if he's wanting to bite or do something crazy, he'll just go right in. Yeah. This guy gives a little warning, which I think is really cool. That's so cute. I do this funny thing where Beppin's biting too hard because Eggy fish, they don't bite at all because mm. Eggy don't even have teeth because he, he uh -huh. lost all them, which is hilarious, by the way. You ever seen a cat with no teeth? No. It's so funny. He has a, uh, okay, not no teeth. He has no teeth from beyond his canine's back. Mm. So he just has the front chompers. Right. Uh, but when Beppin bites my finger too hard, whenever I get him to stop, I just... He thinks I'll pull back when he bites my fingers, but I go forward. <laughs> and then, oh, and then he just goes, <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. And that gets him the fuck off, bro. Fuck, I love that cat. But I, I get why people buy their cats. I totally get the buying from a breeder. Do you not? No, I mean, well, I just wouldn't pay that much for a fucking cat when there's so many of them out, out in shelters and shit. That, I mean, I totally get that. I yeah, I understand it from a really cynical influencer perspective where you want your cat to be beautiful mm. so it can get more likes. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I felt like I wanted another cat, but I also didn't want um, one that wouldn't get all like the immediately swooped up at a, at a shelter or anything like that. So this new guy, he's a black cat. He's like six years old or more. They said he could be up to nine. And so, like, I, I felt like that was who I wanted to give a home to instead of, like, hey, you can have this one for 10 grand and uh, he'll look really cool in the photos, you know? Yeah. No, I, I totally get that. Uh, for me, like, if I see a cat, like, outside the world, I will always take care of them. Mm -hmm. I will bring them in if I feel like I need to bring them in, all that shit. Uh, I have this fear in my head because I was told by, by, by a PetSmart employee uh, that sometimes people will just monetize like saving fake cats like at a PetSmart. Oh, yeah. Wait, what does that mean? 
like they're saying, oh yeah, these cats need to be rescued. Meanwhile, they're being like mass produced. Really? That's that's pet, what I was told. PetSmarts? There was like a PetSmart employee like six, seven years ago. Because I don't understand like how PetSmart's getting that many cats. Maybe those cats are just, maybe there's that many cats out in the world and they just go fetch them all. But like they're also like charging like, I think like $300 to get a cat from PetSmart. That's I think. absurd. What, yeah, that's, aren't they supposed to be like adoption cats? PetSmart charges. Doesn't, doesn't, it, doesn't I, it cost like 20 bucks to adopt a cat? No, I got Krobus from a PetSmart for $250. I know that for a fact. Hmm. Uh, so they do charge a fee. I, I never knew that. Yeah. Jambo was free. I know that because he had ringworm. So he had a problem and they were just like, here. Yeah. Go, ha, go buck wild with it. You know, like, hey, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this. Yeah. Um, soup was, I think it was 50 bucks. Mm. Yeah. But most I, shelters yeah. charge like 20 to 50 bucks, I think. The, the other thing that is really rough with adopting cats, once again, I've done a whole bunch of it. I still recommend everybody do it, uh, is that it's kind of like an RNG grab bag for what type of cat you're going to get. Because like some people can treat these cats like shit. And then you're yeah. dealing with a cat that has some very serious issues for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And it's fun, but like it could be disruptive of your household. And like, especially if you're like, you're getting like a younger cat. If you get a cat and it's fucked up and you get it too early and then you realize, oh, it's fucking up my household, but you kept them for a year or two. Well, now they've outlived their cute years and now their time to be adopted at a higher rate is dwindling because now they're getting old and nobody wants an old fucking cat unless you're schlatt. <laughs> so give your old cat two slats. <laughs> but but getting a cat from a breeder is like cool sometimes because say you want I want a cat that is cuddly. I want a cat that's affectionate and always wants to be around me. Maine Coon, Siamese, Scottish Strait, you know, shit like that, where you know it's gonna match your lifestyle. And that way, like the success rate of it matching into your household like makes like goes up. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It makes but, sense. But still, I, I really don't like, you know, the whole idea of buying a cat versus saving a cat's fucking life. It makes me sad. It blows. Should we adopt a cat together? I probably wouldn't be in on that uh, how bargain. Would that, how would that work? I don't know. Yeah. Where would you keep them? Like here? Yeah. Oh. And that way, whenever you come back to do another episode... It would be kind of nice if we had a steak and eggs cat, but I don't know how that would work. That'd be that'd be cool. We can call him Soup. I guess you could call him Soup. My how old bones, are you? My bones hurt, man. My fucking, I just creak. Yeah, that's a really old like person. Old problem. house. But like, how old are you? Twenty three. How am I twenty nine? I don't. I don't do that. I get up. I go. I go. Uh, and I lift myself up with my hands pushing against my knees for leverage. Have you gone to the hospital for that? No. That's, I have never gone to the hospital. Also, Sam, I don't know why no. I'm telling you to do it when I myself am not going to do it. No. Even if I have a big problem, I won't go. And it's not because, like, oh, you? I can't afford an ambulance. I can afford an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just, like, I don't know. I, maybe I'm too stoic in that regard where, like, I think a lot of guys will be like, oh, my fucking ear's hurting. Go to a doctor. No. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll be fine tomorrow or something. I don't think it's just guys. I do the same thing. Yeah. I just, I really don't want a doctor to put their fingers up my anus. I think yeah, I feel like that happens more than it should. Yeah, I don't even know why. Yeah, like even, a, yeah, like the ear exam, like it, yeah. Maybe it's also an American That's... thing, because I feel like going to the doctor here is so much more of a pain, not just because of the cost, but it's just more annoying. No, I would say that going to an American hospital was definitely a lot better than Canada Hospital, because when you have free health care, For in America, like there's just a lot less people at the hospital. That's kind of fucked, but yeah, it is. It'd be like that. You know what that is? No, Sam. I was like, I was like <laughs> five when that shit happened. Man. Wait, yeah. was I? I was like, no, I had to be like a teenager. Yeah, no, hundred uh, percent. I just don't remember. Because you made a video with Hassan called uh, capital Capitalism versus Communism. Yeah. I don't know what either of those things are. I still don't remember what happened in that video. So what is capitalism? That's when... Uh, is that democracy? Yeah. It is? Yeah, 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 yeah. And democracy is like every person's vote matters? Yeah, and democracy is good. So capitalism is good. And then communism is like one person has to say? Yeah, that's like, that's like China. That's I feel like, like communism bad, would be you know? good if I was the guy making the decisions. I'm sure that's what Xi Jinping thinks as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> what do you think, Emmy? Communism is bad. Why? <laughs> communism is my no-house. 
<laughs> no, I, I, uh, I purposely didn't want it to get serious in that debate with Hassan. So I made him be the capitalist and I was the communist. There you go. Yeah. And then I clipped every single bit of that conversation out of context yeah. and posted all of it to TikTok with no context whatsoever. How'd they perform? There was oh, millions of views <laughs> and so many comments upset at Hassan. I only picked the ones that look bad for him. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to jerk you off too much here. But you kind of like are a genius of content. Like you make some of the best content on the whole YouTube platform. Like mm. definitively, I would say that one hundred percent. Like mm. you've made like what four or five channels. There's like what weekly slap, did slap when you mm. have like what seventeen, eighteen podcasts. Jay Schlatt. Jay Schlatt. Jay Schlatt live. Yeah, why do you make so many different channels? Jay VODs. Because there's something that you get that I don't get. Like, what? why are you making so many channels? Jay Schlatt VODs Archive. Chuckle Sandwich. Sleep Deprived. Schlag. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that one Schlag? Yeah, Schlag. Big Guy. I think that's all of them. But why? Because part of me, th I think YouTubers are very superstitious when it comes to posting content and you know everyone will have a different way of making you can see this because like you'll talk to any any youtuber and they'll they'll be like they all have a different method of even something as trivial as setting a video live so like i know people who are like i'm gonna i, I always keep it unlisted and then i just set to public or i will keep mine private and then i'll schedule them and i'll let the schedule video go live and i won't i won't hit do Go, go straight to public. Like there's so many small details that YouTubers are like, feel very locked into and like, they don't want anything to change because they feel like even a small thing will like fuck it up. No one knows what the fuck I'm talking about, but like, no, I get it. But, like, I, know, people, I know what you're talking People about. are very meticulous when it comes to doing YouTube and they think that any small change will almost fuck it up for them and they'll lose everything just, just by, you know, whether it's, premiering a video or not premiering a video. Like, they, people are very set in their ways. Do you do premieres? No. No, no. I would never. Same. Exactly, right? I would see? never do premieres either. Yeah. Because you see one video that's like, and it bombs, and you're like, oh, it's because I premiered it. Yeah, And yeah. you never do it again, and you just stick to your way again. But in a way, I think for me, having a bunch of channels is almost like a safeguard against if one fails. But again, this is like, this is what, I think, and I don't know if it's true or not, because YouTube doesn't tell you how the algorithm works. They don't tell mm -hmm. you jack shit. That's not just YouTubers. I think every content creator is like that on every every platform, yeah. like Twitch too, TikTok. I have one Twitter, one Twitch, one YouTube. Is that am I stupid? Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're done, dude. You're done. What should I do? You should double up on everything. Should I, I should... Alt Twitter, Alt Twitch, Alt YouTube. I have two Twitches, mm -hmm. three Twitter accounts, mm -hmm. three YouTubes, yeah. um, one TikTok, one Instagram. But I feel like once my channel dies, it's like, it's time. Probably. <laughs> you know? like I don't It's wanna... been your time for a while, man. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I don't know how I'm still getting views. <laughs> but like, you know, in my, in my own fucked up perspective of how YouTube might work, if one of them goes under, I have eight others that aren't tied to the same algorithm. Like you see people complain about getting shadow banned all the time or, Hey, I'm search banned on Twitter. Something like that. Like what if, what if something stupid happens with one of the channels? Okay. Now I got eight others. You know, that's the, that's the reasoning. And I don't think it's necessarily the way to do it because I can hardly find time to upload on all of them. But can I give a hot take? Yeah. I think only 10% of shadow ban claims are real. I agree. Maybe even less than that. I think it's people who just don't make funny tweets who are wondering why aren't these banging like I thought they would in my head. That's true. I feel like nobody wants to watch ugly people. Yeah. But no, you're, you're shadow banned. Am I really? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I looked this up. I can, yeah, I can t my, my Twitter's banned. been kind of crazy lately. Like, I feel like I'm chilling, to be it honest. It must have been lifted. <laughs> it must. It must have been. Hey, wait, yo, give me, give me something to tweet out. Give me, give me, a, give me something to oh, tweet. I out. don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what gets your fans going. You know what I noticed? I muted you. I, I got to be honest. I muted you this week because of the fucking face app filters. 
I did. I started that shit two years ago. Yep. And now you're just catching on to the That's trend. That's my time, baby. Every fucking image in my feed was was you being handsome. And I hated <laughs> seeing that. <laughs> really bad. I was uh, at an OTK meeting. Um, I was 40 minutes late. Mm. And uh, that means I was the third earliest to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, it I was our you, planned merch photo shoot. Yeah, mm. you remember planned that for two, three yeah. weeks. Uh, well, no, I, I don't. I don't think I was there at that one. No, but no, from, no, from, from experience, from oh, previous yeah, meetings, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, Seer is just losing his fucking shit because he's taking photos of himself, making himself look super old. And then I was like, "Wait, is that the shit that Schlatt always used?" <laughs> and then Young just like, "Yeah, dude, <laughs> he fucking, uh, I don't know, he's not sponsored by these fucking people." And I'm like, "All right, I'll try it." And then Young Jeff showed me the, the combination that you would use to make mm -hmm. yourself look normal because we're actually using a filter to make you look I look all fucked right now. Yeah. You, <laughs> you get you know what happens, man? Mm -hmm. You actually get attached to that version of yourself. I already have. And so you're like, "I was taking I've taken photos." With people, yeah. um, and I was like, I was like, hey, can you download this app? <laughs> 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 and in my head, I was like, oh no, because it's it's funny, you know, it's funny. Yeah. But in reality, I just stopped liking seeing myself. In reality, it was kind of grim. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Yeah. It really that does. actually sucks, dude. We talked about that last week on Second Eyes, bro. Yeah, we did. Filters ruin people's perception of who they are. You know, it's it's also social media. Like for example. Eights or nines on social media have been tricked into thinking that they're fours or fives. It's fucking terrible. When the reality is, is that there's there's not a single truly ugly content creator. There's like, like for, for all the people on the top, top thousand, really actually anybody else. Give me an example of somebody who you think is fucking hideous. Go ahead. Who is it? Who's fucking gross? Scott Wozniak. Scott Wozniak. I'm going to pull up a photo of him. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. No, I love Scott. I love Scott. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's yeah. the most normal looking dude on the fucking planet. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, this guy's a fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been in my <laughs> He's been on my feed every single day because his, his latest video is two and a half hours long. And I just haven't gotten through with it. I feel like I know 80 people who look exactly like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking Guess where he lives? Ohio. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I mean, yeah. you're, you're right though, Techie. Like, I'll see like people talking about like these like Twitch or YouTube girls and like calling them mid or calling like male streamers ugly. And I'm like, do these people like only live online? Where yes. like that's what's average to them yeah, now? Yes. I'm telling you, anybody who needs a reality check on what a true one or two like person is on a scale of ten, find a 24 hour Walmart. Go there at 3 a.m. and just look around. That is where the gremlins and the goblins come out. And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Again? It's been 22 minutes. Yeah, who knows, I was man. looking at the clock. Listen, guys, I'll be real. I have not always been the best with my money. Sometimes my subscriptions have gotten a little bit out of hand. Thankfully, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is a god-tier solution. It's a all-in-one finance platform that makes all of your earnings and your spending centralized. It helps you manage your subscriptions, lower bills, create budgets, and develop your savings. So how I use Rocket Money is very dear to me, and I use that to manage all of my anime and manga subscriptions, that of which are in, in, in copious amounts. There's Netflix, Crunchyroll, High Dive, I bet you don't even know what that one is. Uh, Shonen Jump, Manga Dex, Orange Peel, the list goes on and on and on. There used to be Funimation, and now that's gone. But now, I can keep track of them all. Most of you guys probably like me. You probably don't even know what your credit score is, but you can find out if you use Rocket Money. Sign up and join the other three million users on Rocket Money by using our link. That is rocketmoney.com forward slash stake or click the link in the description. Oh, so I found a cool video about the emotional support animals. Would you ever have one of those, an emotional support animal where you can bring everywhere? Your favorite pet? I feel like, oh, that you can bring everywhere? Yeah. I guess if the animal liked it. What animal? A cat. Which one would you pick? Emotional support animal pick. It just seems like a burden. Yeah. I like my cats at home and they come back to me and then they meow all nice. Dude, this guy has an emotional support 
Take a guess. Chimpanzee. Lobster. Holy fuck. <laughs> that would be crazy. Crocodile? I mean, Crocodile. What? Yup. Knew it. Knew it. Because he said, he said, we got to talk about crocodiles oh, yeah. later. Yep. That's a callback. Yep. Emotional support fucking crocodile. He would put his hand in its mouth and like go what? like that. The he crocodile, just carried it around? Crocodile, yep. Carried it around. He, he lives in Florida too. Is it a baby? Like, how does he it, it's like it It's like a mid-sized crocodile. Mid-sized crocodile. You know what it eats? Not even kidding you. Chicken. Chicken, yes. Chicken breast and? Broccoli. Doritos? No, fuck. Cheetos. Oh. Nah, I was close. Cheetos and chicken breast. I was close. And he has a video where the crocodile just flips around in his bathtub. And Jay, you can probably pull this up. Look up, look up emotional support crocodile. And he throws chicken breast in the tub, throws Cheetos in the tub, and he, he, he snaps it up. That's wild. No, well, he's actually domestic. That thing will get big and eat him one day. No, I don't think so. No? No. I've heard a terrible story recently of a lady who had a who was uh, uh, watching some some one of her friends' snakes. Oh no! And every night she would sleep over to keep the snake safe, and the snake got out of its cage every night, and she'd wake up to the thing next to her on the bed, fully elongated every night, and she was trying to figure out what the fuck that meant because it would happen every day. Wait, that's actually cute as that's hell. That's cute as hell. Yeah, Wally. The emotional Wally. support croc. Look at that guy. Wait, that's, yeah, that's actually cute. He's as gonna well. get big one day though and eat him. Yep, but not for but not for not for a little while. Mm. She finally got her answer as to what the snake was doing too. What was it doing? It was sizing her up to figure out if it could swallow her. Oh my god! Yeah, fuck that. Every night she'd wake up and she thought, "Oh, I guess it just likes me or something." Nope. <clears throat> oh my god! Yikes. That's fucked up. That is terrifying. You know what's not terrifying? Wally. The emotional Wally's support pretty, crocodile. Wally's, Wally's cool. actually pretty cute. I fuck with Wally. Yeah. That's a good fucking boy. Wait, so you said he's, he sticks his hand in his mouth? Yeah. And he, he likes it. Do you realize how... First, first of all, fun fact. Crocodiles have not uh, gone through any form of evolution in millions of years. Yeah, the dinosaurs. Yep. They're the closest we've got. Oh, he's just giving yep. them all kisses. Do, do you want to know fuck? why that is, Emmy? Why? Do you know how perfect of a creature oh, a crocodile is? No, it's so good. They are perfect. Really? First of all, top land speed, 20 miles per hour. Okay. First of all, that's fucking that's really horrifying. Good. I can run like 12. How fast do you think you can run, realistically? A baseball pitch is average 90, to 90 miles per hour. I pulled that number out of my ass. Why did that right. have to... How is that supposed to help me with figuring out how fast I could run? <laughs> well, how, how fast, fast do you run, run relative how to fast a baseball, baseball pitch? pitch? Oh, how fast do people run? I don't know. I could go fast. I wanted to okay. for a couple seconds. Maintaining that speed, probably not. I'd be I'd be pooped out. I can't, bro. But the crocodile you just zigzag. Why? That's a myth. No, it's not. They Is that can't not a myth? change the they can't change direction. That's their fatal flaw. Why wouldn't they just use their tail? What does that mean? Like a <laughs> rudder? That's not how it works. <laughs> Can cro you can't. Crocodiles Can cannot change direction that quickly. Crocodile zigzag myth. That's how you get away. Some of these myths include zigzag. If an no, alligator no. runs at you, you should run into zigzag better to avoid getting caught. Alligators can reach speeds of 25 miles per hour. So if you are only going to slow your escape, if you do not run straight as fast as you can away from an alligator. Yeah, it says, it says that's a myth. Can we look it up? Should you zigzag from a crocodile? Run in a straight line as far and as fast as possible from the gator as possible. Do not try to run in a zigzag yeah. pattern. That'll just take you longer to go farther. No, you should not. Holy shit. I just saved your fucking life. You just saved my life. You Thank seek you. seek to just outrun an alligator crocodile. Yep. And think about this shit, okay? Their teeth are as sharp as fucking swords. Wow. Okay? You just blew my mind. And saved your life. Yeah. Wow. See? And that's why coming on this podcast was great. And now you should say you should like, comment, and subscribe to it. Uh -uh. Is it over? No. Oh. Okay. So you're just throwing it in there. All right. Yeah. Well, you can like and, and comment and subscribe. Look at that. And sub to the Patreon. You guys made That's a Patreon. Patreon. That's right. First note, mentioned Hello. Patreon in the first five minutes. Didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Edit the camera. Didn't do that. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back <laughs> at the beginning. Guys, Thanks. please subscribe to our Patreon. Tier 3 subs get a postcard and this little keychain. Schlatt's got one on his mic too.
And yeah, thank you everyone who's been supporting recently. It's been great. Thank I'm you. Take this. Oh, can I look at some shit that I'm going to blow y'all's mind with? I'm going to do a hot take. I think anybody who's eating chocolate is a fucking idiot. What do you mean? Thoughts. Like in general, eating If you chocolate? eat chocolate, you're stupid. I love chocolate. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. You sound like the character from SpongeBob. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> The fucking withered up piece of shit on the wheelchair. I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat chocolate on me? Sometimes. Okay. I think it's good. Why the fuck are we as humans eating chocolate when it is death to every other species? This is not death to us. But I'm saying, give a cat a chocolate, dead. Give chocolate to a dog, dead. Give chocolate to an alligator, dead. W what do you think it's doing to us that makes us so different? Think about that. That's crazy, right? I don't... Is that not a... Why are you looking at me like that? Imagine that. I never thought about that. I know. It tastes really good in a drink with whiskey, bourbon cream, and amaretto. That's true. Well, Chunk of chocolate. I do remember when I was a kid and my parents told me to never give my dog chocolate or she would die. I did wonder, why doesn't it kill us? And I just never thought about it again until now. Because who the fuck cares? Well, it's, there's a reason why humans have become so successful. Because we can eat chocolate. <laughs> because we can eat chocolate. But also, look, I mean, yeah. you, you win some, you lose some. If a cat eats some fucking peanut butter, it's fine. No cat's allergic to peanut butter. No dog's going to die from peanut butter. People will die from just a little tiny nut. Have I told you about my peanut butter problem? You have a peanut butter problem? Yeah, imagine being the weak motherfucker who dies to a peanut. I know. Right? No, if it's you, terrible. It's if, embarrassing. If, I would never tell anybody if I, was a di if I was allergic to peanut butter. I would, I would jump out of a fucking window if I was about to die to a peanut. Me and Sierra talk about this all the time. That's it. You're the weakest link. Yep. Fuck that. I'm done with a peanut. I'm jumping out a third story window before that shit takes my fucking life. Okay, ain't no fucking way my gravestone gonna be like died to a fucking died to a peanut, peanut. overdose. Yeah, peanut <laughs> overdose, bro. Fuck that. Oh my god, that's got to be one of the saddest ways to go. It is. Someone cracks open a jar of Jif. Or Skippy. <laughs> fucking Skippy takes you out. You kidding me? Fuck that. Have you seen the mascot of Skippy? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it like a peanut? No. What's the ma yo J Bo? The mascot of, of Wait, Jiffy. One hundred fifty to two hundred people. Die in the U.S. each year because of food allergies. Imagine that. Only, I figured it'd be more. 50% of those were due to peanuts. So that's like a couple people a month. Oh my God. In the U.S. That's insane. Can you imagine being one of those? Wait, did you see, did you see the, the, the mascot of Skippy? We have that pulled up. What is it, a squirrel? No. What is it? It's a kid on a skateboard, I think. What is the most pathetic way to die? Oh, they changed it. What the fuck? What? It's a squirrel. When did, when did Skippy's, I might just be stupid. You want me to tell you why? What? It was the kid on the skateboard. Was it? And then I erased the time. <laughs> and now he's yeah. a fucking squirrel. Yeah, look at that. Fuel the fun. Is. That's what I remember. Fuck that. They, they, put, they made a squirrel instead? Fuck yeah. is that all about? That's dumb as shit. Also, is there peanut butter milk yet? Is that a thing? That sounds disgusting. I feel like it just makes sense. That, that makes total disgusting. sense. That makes total sense. No, I'm a, so I'm, I don't think I'm allergic to peanuts or if I am, it's like very mild. Like my mouth will get itchy, but I think it's just like because of my brain. I tell people that I'm allergic to peanuts because I cannot stand peanuts or peanut butter. And if I say that, then they're like, oh my God, why? You just haven't tried it enough yet. So I tell them I'm deathly allergic so that they just leave me alone I, and don't try to get me to eat it. I have a story about this. This is, Oh, this one made me so fucking mad. I'm going to leave this person unnamed, but they know who the fuck they are. So I took this person out on a date, okay? And they would always tell me they hate peanut butter. Okay? I hate, I hate that so much. It drives me insane. No. I'm telling you specifically, okay. Schlatt. Okay. Okay, this is, they hate peanut butter. Okay? So I went to a Vietnamese restaurant. You know the, the summer rolls? And yeah. they have the peanut yeah. sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay? So I got them a little bit. They take their summer roll. They dunk it in. Okay? They always say, oh, I hate peanut butter. They would never fucking try it. It's okay. Well, here's some peanut sauce. They take it. They dip it. They eat it. And they're like, oh my God. This is fucking delicious. What is it? And I say, oh. It's peanut sauce. 
They spit it out and they say, disgusting. What the fuck is that shit about? Before anyone misunderstands, that wasn't me. Because if it were me, I would have thrown up because I've thrown up before. <laughs> yeah, that was Vietnamese peanut sauce. Not heavy at all. That's just, that feels weak. I know. Throwing up. No, I'm, I'm talking to Emmy. Oh. Throwing up from a little bit of peanut. Because it's fucking disgusting. Like, I, I don't even know what it is. It's something in my <laughs> brain where when I smell it and it hits me, just instant nausea. I just want to throw up. It's a plant. It's, 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 this is I, completely I, harmless. I, it, it makes no sense. It's illogical, but I can't help it. It just makes me want to fucking throw up. What's your most pathetic way to die? Like, you know, like when you smell like rotting meat and you like go like, <laughs> it's me with peanut butter. It's the exact same thing. I've gotten used to that smell. Mm. Um, <laughs> huh? I think autoerotic <laughs> asphyxiation is the most pathetic way to die. That's embarrassing for sure. You know what that is? Is that when people strangle themselves while they're- While they're whacking it? Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing. I don't know. I don't know. Pick it. There's the ditch flat wins. I got to think about this. Yeah. The most embarrassing way to die. Autoerotic asphyxiation, 250 to 1,000 deaths per year. So more, really? more than, wait, is it, was more the other one? one? That's like a one a day. You got a Lucky Charms candy bar? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you wait, if, if you open that, yeah, uh, share some with me. All right. It's a Lucky Charms, uh, uh, Rice Krispie Treat. Oh Shit. my god. What's the worst way to... I don't, I don't even know. That was a clean catch. I good. Holy shit. Uh, actually, I have an answer. I think about this a lot because I have a fear of falling down the stairs. Like, terrible fear. Like, when I go down, uh, up and down the stairs, like, I can't breathe. I have to hold my breath the whole time. What the fuck? Like, I've thought about this. Like, if I fell down the stairs and broke my neck, and then, <laughs> no someone, and then someone found me later, <laughs> and they're like, she fell down the fucking stairs and died. <laughs> really? <laughs> that would be really embarrassing. How does holding your breath help you at all? <laughs> it's an anxiety thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah? Go up those stairs, Emmy. <laughs> Face your fears. Those are scary. <laughs> Those are fucking scary. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, do that it? again. I'm going to do it. Oh, no. He's going to demonstrate. I'm going to socks, too, bro. I got no circumstances. Have you seen the show uh, A Thousand One Ways to Die? Mm-hmm. Those were, those were scary. I saw one. There was a guy who went on a date with this girl, and he rented a, like a big inflatable ball with a zipper on the outside. Okay. And they were having... Oh. You know what? I get it. It's scary. You know, like... It, it's the closest thing I have to a phobia, like an irrational fear. I just feel sick when I'm on the stairs. I don't know why. How do you feel about escalators? Escalators are fine. That's weird. That's <laughs> I, I think it's because I don't have to move. I can just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, there was just one guy. He was wearing Crocs on an escalator. Oh my God, no. <laughs> and oh his foot was stuck and it like shredded his body by dragging him into the escalator where like the stairs get brought in. It just it ground him into paste. Isn't that like not a real thing? Like I feel like I heard that escalators have a feature where they stop if they're like stuck and if like they, yeah, if they detect that, that they're grinding a human. To yeah, well, a they, they hey, put I, that, should stop. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> they put that in after. That's why they put that feature in. That belongs oh, really? in that show. Yeah, that's one of the ways. That's one of the thousand one ways to die. Oh, wow. That the, that date ended in them suffocating because they couldn't open the ball back up. Can you imagine? That's embarrassing. That, that is embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah, it's pretty Wait, we watched the show on, on OTK Reacts. Yeah, no, we, we watched the episode where the guy, he he's like working at a factory and he did something to piss his boss off or mm. and his boss pushed, pushed him into a vat of acid. No, but the boss, the bo <laughs> yeah, he tried pushing his boss into the acid. Oh yeah, and the, then the, the, the boss, boss did a maneuver. The boss countered him <laughs> and flung him in. That's sick. I was deathly afraid. Of that show. The, a Thousand the, Ways to Die? Yeah. The the intro to that one, the narrator with the deep voice. Oh my God. So I've, never, I've never so seen scary. it. So scary. So what's the most pathetic way to die, Shalat? I've given you I've given you ample time. Answer now. I, I might have to... Don't beat him. You have to say it. You have to say it. Just pick one. I might have to stay with the peanut thing. Peanut? I really think that's a pathetic way to, to go. Okay. 
Um, any kind of tree nut allergy, any kind of food. I mean, we've conquered so much as humans. We've built empires that have lasted thousands of years and you're going to let a fucking peanut do you in. Sad. Sad way to go. Sad. Really sad. You know, my grandma died to a peanut allergy. Sad. I didn't even go to her funeral. <laughs> George Washington founded a nation. He'll be remembered forever. Can you imagine dying to a peanut? The fuck? Did he? Elvis died to a peanut butter sandwich, right? George, no, no, no. I'm just huh? drawing the comparison. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought Elvis died on the toilet. Wasn't he eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich? That's why they called the sandwich the Elvis? On the toilet? Or was he like beating off? I don't know. Let me Elvis. Google. I don't know how he... I know George Carver invented the peanut. No. No? no? <laughs> what do you mean? Invented the peanut. Made peanut butter? Did he make peanut butter? Probably. I think he made peanut butter as well as a lot of other things. Like he made like peanut soap or something. What a fucking dumbass. The fuck? Who's going to use that? Would you use peanut soap? No. Oh, he died of a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> That's different from a peanut butter sandwich. Unless he was man, very scared of a peanut butter sandwich. By his addiction to prescription <laughs> barbiturates. Barbiturates? Bar what the fuck is a barbiturate? I don't know. It probably be some crazy shit. Whenever they use technical terms, it's some like real fucked up shit. Look at me Google barbiturate. Sounds like a Pokemon. Barbiturate. It is depressant drug used to help sleep, relieve anxiety, muscle spasms, and prevent the allergy to peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> that last one may or may not be true. Oh, I uh I think that's it, boys. Yeah. I think we're good. It's about that time. You guys gonna watch Oppenheimer? What's that? Fuck you. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't is that a movie? Okay. Well, cool. Uh yeah. I've been eating for like the last 45 minutes. Yeah, it's been a damn good episode. <laughs> Yo, can you, uh, where's Ted at? On the road right now, I think. Does he live around here or no? No. Well, I want to meet that dude. I guess He's in Los Angeles. You would love him. He's one of the coolest people ever. I don't really know him that well, but he he makes handshakes with everybody and he remembers all of them. What yeah. the fuck? What? I don't have a handshake with Ted. But you don't? No. Really? Aren't you guys like pretty good friends or no? Yeah. We have a podcast together. Yeah, I've seen like two episodes or two videos that he's made and then I saw him on your podcast one time. I have a handshake time. with Ted. You have a handshake with it Ted? It goes like this. What the fuck? And then there's like five more steps and I, I don't remember them, but he remembers them. I don't have a handshake with Ted. Bella fuck. Porch has one too. He's got a handshake with Bella Porch? Is he coming up to Austin soon or no? No. Would he? No. You know that for a fact? Yeah. What if I gave him a, a billion lions? I don't know. Well, boys, that's the uh, that's the that's the episode now. I guess make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, Apple Podcast. <laughs> Holy shit! Apple Podcast is cool. Uh, make sure to leave a comment on that and uh, follow Schlatt on his ten million channels that he has. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Alerts are always on. Thanks. Yep. See you guys next week. Asma will be here. Probably. Sorry, sorry you had me instead, everybody. I think you were a fantastic guest. They were guest. pretty desperate. That's not true. We asked Schlatt yesterday if he would come on, didn't say anything, and he appeared here. It was like, did you have fun? Yeah. We missed like half the topics. We didn't even talk about half That's the topics. That's normal. Usually we only touch on like a quarter of them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, final question. What do you think the best cat breed is? Orange. Cool. All right. See you on the next one. Peace.
I know I've one million percent picked up trades from my family. Do you have anything like that? I mean, where you picked up something from your mom or dad? Not really from my parents, but I was never like super close out of my parents. But from my siblings, yeah, for sure. Like what? What's a, what's like a subconscious habit? Subconscious habit, or like something that you say that's from them. Um, me and my siblings all call animals rats. Like dogs. <laughs> that's rats so cute. Rats. Yeah. Yeah. I got a trait from you where I call uh, my cats chickens. Oh, that yeah, that me and my siblings also do that. Yeah, yeah rats and chickens. Yeah, I take the little kibble, I throw it on the ground, I go here to go yeah, chickens. That's something that we would do when we were kids. That I just yeah, do. that's so cute. The same degenerate, gross shit that I do. My dad does other similar things like that. Yeah, and so some of that stuff I've learned from him, but not all of it. Some of it I've invented myself. You're you're an only child, right? Yeah. How is that? Do you ever, do you ever was, wish you had a brother? Yeah, it was really sad. I, I wish I had siblings. Yeah, definitely. 